Malaysia Malik from behalf of Zero Vision. Are you all facing some kind of technical problems? Like your network is not working properly or your net is going and coming. Not only that, even when you are calling somebody, the call is not going directly. You have to call him or her again and again to get the calling ring. Is this the problems you are facing or suffering? Then, this is not your phone's problem. There is something behind in this which is very huge thing. Let us know why this is happening. If this is no frown problem, then what is the problem behind this? Let us know the reasons. We already know that some of the solar storms already hit the earth. But again, solar storms warning are coming from NASA. Are to suffer huge heat over the next two days. It has been almost a week since the last solar storm hit the earth, and it was a relatively minor storm that did not really affect us much. The worst was experienced over the Indian Ocean region, where a temporary radio blackout was observed. But things are about to change quickly for the wars. NASA has issued a warning over a major solar storm strike on Earth that was initially today. When glancing blows are expected, and on April 20, a massive direct heat has been predicted. If the solar storm does strike, the Earth impact can be far more dangerous. The information comes from the space weather scientist Tamita Skov, who is popularly known as Space Weather Woman. In a recent tweet, she said, Ready for Aurora? A solar storm direct heat is coming. NASA predict impact 20 April additional glancing storms launched earlier mean activity could pick up late on April 19. Expect extended aurora at high latitudes with good chance of view down to mid latitudes by the 20th. The source of the solar storm is a massive coronal mass injection cloud that is headed over the earth. The cloud is moving in a crescent shape and that is why glancing blows are expected earlier than a direct heat. However, this partial strike can have a concerning effect. It can weaken the magnetic fields of the earth enough to create cracks on it, which can allow CME to escape into the upper atmosphere and cause a far more intense storm. Apart from this, Scob has also revealed in her weekly forecast that there is a 10% chance for an X-class solar flare eruption on Sun. Such eruptions are the biggest reason behind the shortwave radio, blackouts and GPS disruption. If such an eruption does take place and it coincides with the solar storm, the overall impact can get more complicated. A solar storm like today can be quite terrifying. It can disrupt GPS, hammer mobile networks and the internet and even cause a massive power outage by corrupting the power grids. Even the electronic devices on earth are not safe from malfunctioning. The NASA Solar Dynamic Observatory carries a full sight of instrument to observe the sun and has been doing so since 2010. It uses three very crucial instruments to collect data from various solar activities. They include Hello Sismic and Magnetic Imager. 
which take high resolution measurements of the longitudinal and vector magnetic field over the longitudinal the entire visible solar disk. The extreme ultraviolet variability experiment which measures the sun's extreme ultraviolet irradiance and atmospheric imaging assembly which provides continuous full disk observation of the solar chromosphere and corona in seven extreme ultraviolet channels. For more information, keep touch with Zero Vision.